Hi everyone, I'm super excited to start a brand new series on all things gut microbiome. To start us off, I wanna go through the five W's. Every one of us are covered with trillions of bacteria, viruses, and fungi that reside in our skin as well as inside the intestine. This collectively is known as microbiome. The microbes that reside in our large intestines specifically are known as the gut microbiome. We have evolved to live with gut microbes. The gut microbiome affects our body the moment we are born affecting our digestion, immune system, brain chemistry, weight, and metabolism. As we grow, our gut microbiome diversifies, meaning it starts containing many different types of microbial species, including the good, friendly bacteria known as probiotics. For those of us who were born vaginally through the birth canal and were breastfed, for the first couple of weeks of life, your gut microbiome would have been very similar to your mother's. Of course, as we grow and encounter different stimuli, our gut microbiome changes. Now the stimuli could either increase diversity or decrease diversity. Let's go through some ways that we can improve our gut microbiome diversity. This includes eating a variety of foods, including probiotics and prebiotics, exercising daily, playing outside, limiting intake of artificial sweeteners, and taking antibiotics only when necessary. Now to wrap this all up, I want to give you an analogy using the game of Pac-Man. Imagine the playing field as our gut and the Pac-Man as probiotics. Our yellow hero works through the playing field eating up all the yellow power balls, which represents their food known as prebiotics, all while dodging bad bacteria represented by the four ghosts. In our own lives, if we want to support our gut health, just like in the game of Pac-Man, we want to dodge the bad guys by keeping up with our healthy habits, including getting adequate sleep, de-stressing, as well as exercising daily. We also want to continue eating those nourishment yellow power balls uh, by making sure we add enough prebiotic rich foods to our diet every day. This concludes our first video in the series of all things gut microbiome. In upcoming videos, I'll be discussing the role of probiotics, prebiotics, and introducing you to the concept of postbiotics. Thanks for watching, and I would greatly appreciate it if you share this video with your loved ones.